Okay, the bolt in the center of the screen is the main ground. This main, this main 10 gauge wire goes in and literally branches out to every ground in the headlights, clearance lights, signals, horn, etc. All comes back here. It's a little, it makes it a very busy, busy terminal. This terminal needs to be kept clean. It's amazing that even though this one appears to be in bad condition, it really isn't. Where these two, where the two uh, surfaces are contacting, it's still clean. The threads are making good contact. Then one of the most ideal ways to ground one would be to take and run from the battery and run the wire right down to here, and then run one, another one over here. Because you only, if you only have one ground and that one breaks or gets corroded, you're going to have problems. Two wires, obviously, are going to take twice as long to have a problem. We like to put on as many grounds as we possibly can. You can't overground a car. It's good to have good ground between the engine and the chassis and good ground between the battery and the chassis. Most people forget that the chassis is one of the most important factors of it and simply ground the battery to the motor. That's only half the equation.